recall command uh, in IGP should soon. Uh, in in the sport, in the trial, there is a, an exercise when you heal your dog and then you leave the dog in place, either sitting or laying down, and you walk away and then you need to recall the dog and the dog needs to run promptly to you, sit straight in front of you uh, and be attentive. So uh, today we, we're going to start teaching this command recall and I usually break, break it down in several steps. One is that I'm working on recall, another one is when I'm teaching the dog to be straight sitting in front of me. That's a different exercise. Today we're going to focus only on recall. And uh, the requirement for this, uh, to start doing this, your dog needs to know command sit or uh, lie down, down or flat, and uh, stay. So you can leave the dog somewhere, walk to the point, and then recall the dog. And when I work on this exercise, I usually work on the speed. The dog needs to be quick running to you. So that's all we're gonna do today, just recalling, uh, building up the speed, make sure that the dog understands the command it's the first time I will introduce it to him I usually I use command come um, and uh, so it, and it's pretty fun because it's just more or less running but one thing that I do is that I use uh, I don't know if you guys can see I use poles uh, and I don't need poles for the recalling the dog but I will need them later when I will sit the dog in front of me to be straight poles will help me guide the dog to make sure the dog knows the straight position in front of me so but because I use it eventually and I'll connect the two exercises recalling the dog and then sitting that the reason why in this training I always use poles so the dog runs through the between the poles when I call him so let's see how it works straight to me so we'll keep keep doing this problem in having Doberman run fast. Um, as you can see he really likes it, it's fun for him and he figured out very quickly he needs to run through. Uh, typically when I will keep training with this I'll leave him further and further out so it's longer distance so he can really build up the speed. I, I can do it because the camera won't capture how far he is sitting. But that's pretty much the gist of it and uh, we'll keep practicing until the next uh, step. Happy training! <laughs> 